So what is up, um, Scratch users and or kids? Welcome to another video of a Scratch making project. Today we're going to be making a Call of Duty um um zombies game. So um yeah, let, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is just go to Paint, and you're just basically making a a new sprite. Um, now since the fill and outline are already there since scratch 2. Point, it is 3.0 j just came out let's just saw let's just draw a simple person we're going to make this um black and then we're going to make this um white <coughs> and now we could make it like but i but you guys can press and hold shift if you like but that just messes it up eventually so um, I usually press shift. <coughs> now um, what you need to do is draw this person and then you need to draw the gun of his. <laughs> like do this exactly. But not with the with the outline that is just I don't know. <coughs> so um, this actually looks like he's holding a real gun, so um yeah. So um, what you need to do is, so um, what you need to do is, pull out your sprite when green flag is clicked, and then you have to go forever. <laughs> now you, now you must want to copy and paste these. If key W is pressed, <laughs> if key W is pressed, or if key S is pressed, we need to find S. Or if key A is pressed, <coughs> you can do it with um, arrow keys too, but I like um, doing it with the AWSD keys. And now you go to motion, and uh, you can see that these stuff will, will, will remember your, your patterns, so I'm since this one right here is Y, I just change um, Y by 5. And since this one is down, going down, we must do this on negative 5. <coughs> now, same applies to um, the X right here. You must, must change the X by 5. And, hold on a second. And um, you must change this one by 5. Now, it... it if you mess things up, um, I usually, um, like, um, swap these out, <coughs> and then I'll just put this one in easier, but it looks fine for me, yeah, it looks fine, but, <coughs> yeah, I mostly swap these over, yeah, and so, <coughs> the controls actually looks like they are right. To make this guy follow your mouse, you must do another ver you must do another block. And if green flag is clicked, then forever um we must point towards the mouse pointer. So um, yeah, it actually looks like this now. And I believe there's something wrong with the character. Uh, um I just need to find something so um I'll just move it a bit farther. So um, yeah, it actually looks like he's following the mouse now. <laughs> to make you guys shoot, we must make a new variable. When green flag is clicked, then forever. If key, <laughs> if. We must do the mouse down thing because that's what I like to do. And then we must wait um z zero point five I'll actually make this one A. You know what? Let's do let's do wait until not mouse down. And then what you need, what you also need to do is create clone of Sprite 2. So um, let's duplicate this one, and uh, let's remove this character. 
And let's actually not remove the gun. We must paint it yellow. Paint the town red, boy. <laughs> and now, we also need to move this to the center. But, I went too far. I actually had to had to press hold. I had to press and hold the, the left arrow key. So it can fit properly. So, um, yeah. We must check out all this co code. But, all we need to do is, when green flag is clicked, and then you must hide this. When I start as a clone, and then, <coughs> we must make it move, minus 10 step. <coughs> and then, what he wanted to do is, um, go, uh, <coughs> go to the sprite 1. And point in direction. Um, let's just say direction of player. So um, let's just find that direction of player. There it is. You actually have to switch this one first. So um, direction of sprite one. And that's where you point your direction at. And and now we also must show this right here. So um, yeah, we also need to move this back 10 minus 10 step and then we must do a uh, repeat until don't mind the background guys we must do a repeat until touching the edge and uh just move 10 steps and then we should um delete this clone afterwards and that's it let's switch let's switch this to clone number two we have a fully working um game here but Something seems like it's a bit wrong, so um, it's actually shooting behind the car behind the gun. So um, we must make it to where it actually shoots um, outside of outside. Of so um, the reason why I take out the the block is because it shouldn't be in there. But what I actually needed to do is um, move this a little bit more and see if you have <coughs> have the right um, timing of this character so um yeah we must actually do the same for that one so um, I mostly like to um put this one closely and then I like move this a bit until it's like at the right position <coughs> and uh, it looks good <coughs> um, we don't actually need to add the um the 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 move block we um we can add um we can go back we can go backwards like we could say 50 layers since this project is going to be like a long time so um yeah now since you have all that um we actually need to make the guy reload his gun so when he runs out of ammo and then we actually have to make him reload the gun so he just can't have infinite ammo so um, what I usually get, do is like um go to paint and I I draw my my text lines like I make this one zero and then I move this one more back and I can like um actually fit the size to it though just in case <coughs> so um, what I actually do is um I put this one to zero but you actually have to put this one right here so it can act be an actual zero now you must r r duplicate all of these numbers until it all goes to um, eight or something or it or it all goes to a hundred since the project is like gonna have um machine guns or shotgun shells whatever you, what you whatever you which what what you want to call what you want to call it I keep messing up my freaking voice there but who cares so um, right after you have all that um when green flag is clicked let's make a new variable let's delete my variable so let's make a magazine <coughs> that's what I'm gonna call it set magazine to um zero and uh forever forever change um 
we we must switch the custom to the to the magazine so we can actually like be how much magazine you have. So um, let's set the magazine to eight.